Glenn from Lessons for Landlords. Today, I want to do a little breakdown for you. I wanted to dress up for the occasion. Uh, this is a very important uh, video. This is the video breakdown of my first rental property. Uh, it was called 118 Walnut Alley. It's a duplex. And um, I want to share the numbers and breakdown with you. And um, the goal is to think outside the box and how can we make a thousand dollars more a year on this property by just thinking outside the box i'll show you the property is 118 walnut alley in edgewater park it's a duplex i purchased it for one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. now when we bought this property we didn't do much to it i think we just did carpeting and paint it's called putting lips lipstick on a pig uh, that means you don't do too much and you make it nice looking for a tenant to get in and then you go from there. <laughs> Coffee. Okay, so let's get to the numbers. I purchased it for 135 and I just got it appraised in 2020 for $187,000. Now again, these numbers aren't to brag, they're just to kind of break down and show you how we make money in real estate. So, in, in the seven years that I've had this property, it just increased $52,000 on paper, but that's a good increase. That's how you see how you make money in real estate, by holding it, it appreciates in value, and then that's how you make your money. So let me break down the numbers for you. Really important, a lot of people say, well, how do you, how do you know how much to charge for rent? Um, or how much, you know, how do you know if the numbers are, are good? Do, do they add up? Well, let me show you a little breakdown of how I do it. I take the mortgage, the taxes, and the insurance. Three important numbers. The mortgage is $976 per month. The taxes, I just divide by 12, and I get $267 per month. The insurance, $92 per month. That brings me to $1,335. That number is the number that I need to have to at least make to break even on the property. Now, I like to make at least on a single family home, $500 or more every month profit. Some are just way more in, but I don't, if my numbers aren't accurate to that 500 bucks or more, I don't do it. Duplexes, triplexes are a lot more money a month but that's just for single family. So we're at 1,335. One the rent from unit A and unit B added up is 1895, $1,895. So that's a profit of $560 per month on this unit. That's $6,720 a year profit from the duplex. So every year I look at the properties in the portfolio and I say to myself, how can I even make more money with this property? It's not about being greedy. It's about being a smart landlord and a smart real estate investor. And there's little tips and secrets that can add value to your property and bring you a lot more money every month and every year. So let's dive into it and break it down for you. Okay, current rents. Unit A is at $980 per month. The current market value I feel for that property is, around, is probably around $1,200 per month. They're, these are one bedrooms. This is a really large one bedroom with a basement. The other one is a, a smaller one bedroom, but that's the house that we bought and that's what we're renting. So if I just change the rent from 980 to where it should be, 1200 it's a difference of $220 per month by just bringing the rent to current market value. So that's $2,640 or more a year by simply making sure your rentals are on target and at fair market value. And then that's how you get that. Nice little vacation. I should have been doing it for probably about two years already. Um, you know, every landlord is like, I'm afraid, to raise, I'm afraid to raise the rent. I might lose the tenant. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
if they're gonna leave over $25, let them leave. Um, they have to move, they have to pack, they have to find another place. You know, a lot of tenants were threat threatened, oh, I'm gonna leave, but if they leave, they leave. Find someone that's willing to pay the current market value for that property. I lost $5,280 in the past two years because I didn't bring it up to current market value. So unit B is at 915 per month. Their current market value should be $980 per month, I feel. That's a difference of $65 a month that I'm losing. So that would be another $780 profit. New total would be $3,420 that I'm increasing my yearly total of income. How can I make even more? What's the value in my property? Is it even possible to milk out another thousand dollars out of this property? Well, it's called value add to your portfolio. And I'll show you how I do it. Unit A has a basement. If I charged $25 more for giving them all that extra space and they would spend it anyway if they had to put their stuff in storage, uh, that would be $300 more per year for just charging for the basement. Now, yes, uh, they have a basement, a tenant lives there, but I hear from a lot of landlords that they don't like people using their basements or their attics. They actually uh, close them up, screw them up, or lock, the, lock them up with a lock uh, because you don't want all their stuff down there when they leave because they're not going to take it out. And then you, <laughs> you will have to go there and either pay somebody to take out all that garbage from that basement or you're going to do it. <laughs> and I have done it in the past. So... Where are we now? So unit B, if I, when those tenants move out, they have a garage. Now I'm gonna set, put pictures into, um, at the end of this so you can see everything I'm talking about, but they have a nice garage in the back that I wasn't using for storage and they kind of just adopted it. This is when I was first like brand new as a landlord and um, I didn't say anything. But now I will. So the next tenants that move out this is where I value add. This is where I change everything to make it correct. So if I charged $50 more for that garage, when those tenants move out, that's $600 more a year by just charging for that garage space. I'm telling you, you might say, oh my God, I feel like I'm you know, adding all these extra expenses. They will pay. If they have storage, if they have, if they need that room, they will pay. It's just the way it is. Same with pets. You know, you add a pet fee. Um, a lot of people are afraid to add these pet fees, but a pet is kind of a family member, and tenants will almost pay anything for their pets. So, at the six hundred dollars more per year, if I, with the three hundred dollars more for the basement, that's nine hundred dollars more a year by just charging for the storage. What would you suggest me to do for $100 more to get $1,000 more a month? I need $100 more to get that $1,000 a month. Okay, so here's what we have. We have 118 Wonder Alley. The rent is 980. Current market value is 1200. It's a difference of $220 per month. The tenant improves the property, he doesn't bother me, and he pays down my mortgage every month for me. How nice. If I just did the storage alone, I would increase my income another $2,640. That's 220 times 12, 2640. Okay, now, because I need to raise the rents, but was nervous that the tenant would, would leave, I missed out on a lot of money. The rent should have been adjusted to the current market value, and for not raising the rent for two years, I probably lost around $5,280 for not taking action. That's a lot of money. 
Unit B, also long-term tenants. They're at nine fifteen per month. They didn't even pay sewer. Uh, I was such a newbie landlord that in my lease, it didn't say they paid for sewer. And he kind of complained about it. And I was like, oh, okay, no, you won't pay for sewer as a, as a landlord because I didn't want confrontation. Now, you're paying for all utilities or you're out. Not to be mean, I shouldn't say that. The tenant is responsible for all utilities. If they don't want to pay the utilities, then they would have to leave. That's a nice way of putting it. So again, you know, with all these numbers, um, we're at $3,420 of increase in money. Okay, so now I'm breaking down how I think outside the box. So the basement, if I charge like maybe $25 more a month, that's $300 per year. Uh, problem with basements, again, they leave things behind. The garage, like I just mentioned, uh, we can increase it $50 more a year, a month. That's $600 more a year. You know, so you can see the money is adding up. So as a landlord, you always need to be thinking outside the box. Uh, don't be afraid to try different ways to approach the problem. Okay, there are different ways you can figure out things. When life gives you lemons, a landlord makes good lemonade and sells it for $5 a cup to their tenants. And that way I use that money to buy another property. <laughs> okay, I'm a landlord, not a comedian, but I did try to dress up to make you guys happy. So here I am. So if you add to what I'm already making with this rental, I'm originally making $6,720 a year profit on this rental. If I add the value add of the 4,020, that's $10,740 a year, okay? Divide that by 12, I just made myself around $900 more, you know, a month. I need about another $100, $110 more to make $1,000 a month profit more on top of the 500. So I'm turning that $500 profit a month into 1500 just by charging for the storage. Now, I'm gonna break down these numbers again on, on the paper to put them on the end of the video. And I know my mentor, Dan, is probably going through the numbers in his head and saying, oh my God, you're messing up. But these are the basic numbers. If you catch any mistakes, by all means, let me know. Um, but it's just kind of a out there you know, approach to show you how you can make more money every month by charging for that storage. Don't be afraid to raise those rents. Um, that's it. So have a great day, guys. Lessons for landlords. Have a good one.